What's up guys, Andrew's playing for some Subnautica today. Um, I bought this game a couple weeks ago. It's been, it's, been, it's amazing. Uh, for an early access game, I highly recommend if you like survival games. I There's been a lot of survival games on the mar on Steam, or, uh, Steam store that's kind of been a letdown. Uh, but this one, this one caught my eye. It caught my eye like ARK. Uh, I've got 700 or so hours in ARK and I absolutely love it. Uh, this one, I played a, I played it quite a bit. I played about 12 hours, so I'm pretty familiar with everything. So I said, so I decided to do a let's play. Uh, there, are, there are, there's, there's a few game modes. There's survival, freedom, hardcore, and creative. Uh, survival is pretty much like the normal game. Freedom, uh, you don't have to worry about your hunger or thirst. Hardcore, you have everything enabled: oxygen, health, water, food. But if you die. Your game will close out, and they'll say you died, and then they'll delete your save, so you you have to start all the way over. And creative, you can build anything. You don't have to worry about materials, oxygen, food. It's pretty much Minecraft uh, creative. So for this for this video, I'm gonna play um, play some survival. Second century, humanity is beginning to colonize space. Before colony ships arrive, habitation vessels are appointed terraforming missions. The Aurora was one such vessel. During its descent, the Aurora was struck by a mysterious energy pulse, resulting in catastrophic hull failure. A single life pod jettisoned prior to impact. You were in that life pod. All right. Now, before I go get in here, the, there is no multiplayer in this game. Uh, I don't think the devs even agree to, or well, not agree, but they don't even plan on adding it. Uh, it's mostly a single-player game, and uh, they may add a co-op, a two-player co-op in the future at release, but I'm not entirely sure. But this is a spectacular-looking game. Uh, we can our 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 oxygen health and Food and water on the left left hand side. Uh, pretty much everything in the world is interactable. Like you can come up to this fish and grab it. Uh, you can dig in the sand and terraform it all you want. Now, the, pretty much the point of this game is is at least right now in the, the story mode part of it. Well, actually, the point is to survive, but there's actually a little bit of story to it. Attention. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Continuing to monitor. Alright, so the story is, is you crash land here in that ship, which was supposed to terraform this planet. This planet is, is just it's full water. It's all ocean. And this is not Earth. This is on a uh, alien planet, uh, which I kind of like. Uh, I would. <sighs> you can do a lot of stuff in this game. There are you can build underwater bases. You can build submarines. You can build a bigger submarine, which is it's called a cyclops. It's and you can actually build like uh, storage crates inside of it. It's pretty much a mobile base. So. Let's, let's just collect some resources right now. Uh, we need some food. So these these guy, little guys here are called peepers. They, uh, they are the best source of income. They're fast, so it's kind of hard to catch. We can break the limestone to get like uh, minerals, titanium, copper, silver, and gold. And I miss it. No, I think that's all. Uh, these guys right here are called air sacs. This is how you get your water. Uh, you create. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Yeah. You can drown. Uh, you can get more oxygen by uh, making uh, new more. Uh, or actually, you can make a. Is <laughs> you don't even have an air tank on you right now. You can make one. You can have more than one in your inventory to increase your oxygen. They do give you some resources to start out with. They give you uh, some glass. 
a computer chip and some lithium. Lithium is very important for re reinforcing your structures because as you build more, your structure integrity on that base will go down, creating cracks and letting it fill up with water. So lithium is very important for that. That can be found in the in the depths of the ocean, way much way deeper than what uh, or where we are now. Continued degradation of the Aurora's dry core may cause a quantum detonation. Calculating risk assessment. Death by malnourishment, 7%. By physical injury, 11%. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to 65%. Alright, so th this piece of equipment here is called a fabricator this is how you build and manufacture all your resources uh it's pretty much like a crafting table in other uh in other games uh so with the air sack don't cook the air sacks because you can you just eat other fish that way it just kind of is a waste uh but air, an air sack and bleach is the only way you can make water uh bleach requires a few other uh, materials but air sacs, you can cook them, or you can uh, put, make them into water. So I think right now I'm going to collect some resources. And I'm going to start building a, a small, probably one room uh, base. So let's go grab some quartz. Uh, this is scrap metal. Uh, it can be made if you, can, if, you uh, if you break it down. It can give you four titanium. Uh, all in that, all this can be done in the fabricator. You there is there is a uh, I know some other games like there's a, the, you can take screenshots so you can uh, you can literally build a uh, a picture frame and put it on your wall and have your screenshot on that picture or the picture frame in the picture frame uh, so you can I'm probably gonna do this so yep uh, you can add to your same library uh, this is a this is a fragment it's not all the uh, blueprints are available for you to build uh, Local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a 1 km safety range. Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. Alright, what I was saying was, not all the blueprints are in the game or that you have access to. So you have to build a tool, and all these fragments are scattered everywhere. A sea moth fragment is a part of a, the, a small submarine that you can build. If you scan three or four of these, if you find these around the map and scan them, I don't have a scanner on me currently, but uh, once you scan three of those and complete the, uh, or get them all, you unlock that blueprint for you to build the small submarine. So yeah, I think, this, yeah, that's another one. Just gonna collect some food. Titanium is mainly is uh, mainly used for building. I think if you want to build a one room, like a, a room, it's eleven titanium or something like that. So it's quite a quite a lot. You can find titanium. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. You can find titanium in uh, in those limestone in limestone. Seismic readings okay. suggest a quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state. A T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. All right. So yep, the ship blows up. The point.
point, uh, you can, right now, the whole area near that ship is scattered with radiation. If you go near it, if you pretty much go any, any way, anywhere past that life pod, you'll start to die slowly because of the radiation. You can build a radiation suit, which will protect you um, from that radiation. Uh, but the only way to stop the radiation is to go to that ship. <laughs> it's actually very scary over there. Oh, am I stuck? Am I stuck? Oh, this is the first. Okay, there we go. The only way to go to that ship is to get the radiation, and then you can have you can build a welder, and you have to go in the engine room and seal up the radiation leaks leaks in the in the wall. My uh, which will which will clear up all the radiation in approximately three days. So then uh, you can go over there freely without having to use a uh, radiation suit. So let me just get some titanium here, and we can start building uh, my base. You know what, I actually might uh, build an, an oxygen tank. You see my uh, oxygen went from 45 to 75 just by that single tank, so you build more of those tanks, uh, you will get increased, oh, excuse me, uh, you would get more, uh, you would get more oxygen. Now, only but when you go to cook food, only cook stuff that you need to eat right then, because they will uh, spoil very quickly. Nighttime is very uh, creepy. There's there's this part of the uh, very like the uh, this biome as they call it the little the place where you start, which is where I'm in right here. Is very peaceful. There's nothing much that can kill you. There's a few things, but nothing big. Right there, you said radiation detect. Wait, am I going toward the ship? I am going toward the ship. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the things that live in the. Uh, I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's creep vine. It's like a. It's like out. Al no, not algae. Uh, big old vines, green vines that. Uh, that's another biome. That's the that's a good place to go find limestone outcroppings, which you can get gold and silver and more titanium from. What if I can find a limestone uh, cropping outcropping? It's too dark. I can't see anything. But yeah, to be able to build a base, I'm going to need to build a, a, a builder. Uh, building a builder. Uh, a builder is like a, um, a tool that you need to build with. Or, no, a tool that, a tool that allows you to build. Uh, which, for that, I need a battery. Batteries require acid mushrooms. I'm just going to take four of these. Oh, jeez, it's been a while. It requires copper. I'm gonna say it requires copper. I don't know. I have to, have to go back to the uh, fabricator to actually look. I wish I would have got a battery to start off with. Even though a computer chip is helpful and useful, a battery is is a need. It's just a you need it. I don't care what, how far you are into it. You're gonna always need a battery, or uh, batteries can be turned into power cells, which power cells are being used to power the uh, power generators and the submarines and the larger submarine. So let's see what a battery. Battery. I need copper. Yeah, copper. Which I don't have any of that. So let's see a builder. Tools to uh, habitat builder. I needed one computer chip, which uh, I started out with. Thank, thank goodness, and a battery. So I need some copper. 
there's plenty of, I mean I this is the experimental version of the game it it has a, a few more extra things that are in beta in beta testing the actual actual items that they can be a little buggy but I I have not found a problem with any real huge bugs like that little flying outside of water that happened to a few minutes ago, that's nothing big. That's the biggest, uh, biggest problem I actually uh, had. So yeah, here's some li the limestone outcropping. Oh, cool copper. So you can either break that with a knife, or you can smash it up with your hands. Okay, I was just reading that. Uh, so let's go build the builder. Now the builder will allow us to build every single. Ooh, I don't know if I should say it. Not every, not every single thing because you need a mute mobile vehicle bay to build. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. To build the submarines and the uh, the vehicles. Oh, here's a scanner. Uh, yeah, I'll build a builder first. I'm just gonna look through what I what I can. Build. I'm gonna get some more water. Get some more titanium. Alright. So let me put this into the second slot. Quartz is, uh, quartz is used to make glass. Uh, you're gonna need a lot of that. The ambient fa ambient sounds in this game are just phenomenal. Uh, oh, it's eight, six six titanium. So we can go ahead and plop this down anywhere. It'll automatically shape the uh, terrain so it's assess accessible to pretty much every direction. I'm just gonna I don't know where to put it. Put it right here. Alright, so now we're going to need a hatch, which requires two titanium and glass. So I'm, uh, I can use two quartz to, equal, to make one glass. So I'm just going to make some glass. Now, the bu how building works in here is each one of those, uh, you can pretty much expand this, uh, let's see, a corridor. Uh, you can, uh, let's see, what's, what's it compared to? I don't know if there's really anything compared to, but uh, how, how this works is the rooms have build points, which are these little rectangle a uh, little thing. I don't even know what to call these things, but you can. That's how. That's how you expand your base. Is that you have to build on top of those. You can't. And then when we get inside, I'll I'll show you uh, what we what we can put on the inside. All right. So a base needs power. Oops. A base needs power, and you can also build a. I'm gonna put a fabricator in here. So we don't have to keep going back up there. Now there's no power, so I can't even use it. So I'm gonna need a solar panel. Oh, I should have made all that glass. I need the quartz. So I would I I would recommend four solar panels. Uh, you can put this near it, very close to it on the ground, or you can put it on top of the uh, on the, on the roof up here. Uh, it'll all work as long as it's connecting. Uh, what I mean by connecting is if there's a blue a blue line. It's pretty much going from the solar panel to the building or the the power transmitter, which you which power transmitter. What this does, if you have solar panels up on this rock here, this is salt, by the way. Uh, it's made to purify uh, food, make it last longer. So if you put a solar panel up here, 
that lot, that is not going to reach some of the base. No way. So you got to put a, a power extender. So I would put one right here, and it would create a line from the power extender to the solar panel, and you just make a line of power uh, power transmitters all the way to the base. Uh, I don't exactly see the big deal for this, other than if you're way down deep where the sunlight can't get to, uh, that you would need that. And what am I trying to do? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? I totally forgot. Uh, what the heck was I going to do? Oh yeah, look for quartz, that was it. Get too distracted talking about other things and completely forget what you were trying to do in the first place. Uh, the, the one bummer about this game was, is I learned that resources don't respawn. I mean, I can see why is that why it's not in it uh, right now is because they want you to leave this area and go ex explore and get, go farther for resources. But at the same time, if you're playing a good six hours on a, on in a world, like this place gets barren. I mean, there's no fish, there's no coral, there's no scrap metal, there's nothing. I mean, it's it looks, it's barren. It's it's almost it's kind of like, ugh. And then you want to move your base because it looks boring and everything. I'm going to get some more quartz here. But I think they are planning to add resource respawn. I hope it's not too fast though, because that kind of ruins it. Because you do, you don't want it to, to respawn too fast, but nor do you want it to respawn too slow. Uh, you, there's a good uh, balance point there somewhere. Uh, I think if you guys ever ever played Ark, Ark Survival Evolved, it's a dinosaur survival game, pretty popular. Uh, they've they've hit it right on the notch. Like it's they're, it's perfect. Uh, the rate's not too high. It's not too slow, it's not too fast, it's absolutely perfect. Uh, how does, how's this game run? Well, I don't, I actually, I have a, a, a very, it's a high, it's a high of a high-end gaming computer, so I really can't say anything about, uh, compared to, like, the people that have mid, low to mid-range computers, or maybe people that don't have graphics cards at all and are running off their processors. Uh, graphics, but the, I mean, the only time when I stutter is when I go to load in, like when I move around the map fast and it loads in a whole bu new biome, uh, there's a, some stuttering there, uh, I wish my FPS counter was working properly or I'd be able to tell you what I'm getting, I think I'm getting about maybe 70, maybe 60, 60 to 70. Uh, that's with recording. Without recording, it can all the way go up to 120. Uh, I do have the GTX 970. Uh, so if you guys want to compare, like, do some stuff. Oh, I need to build solar panels. So as I as I place this, there should be a little blue line, and you can hear it powering up. Oh, this sounds. The sounds in this game are amazing. Uh, can I build a third one? Yes, I can. Yeah, we can build some. I uh, said, do, do I have glass? I do. Uh, now, like, like other survival games, if you okay, as you see at the top left, it says negative two to base hull strength. Total of now is five point eight. If that gets below zero, you're gonna get some holes in your structure, and it's gonna put water's gonna pour in. It's gonna fill up the whole compartment, uh, which kind of sucks. But I mean, it's cool. But uh, anyway, what I was gonna say was this deconstruction gives you back the full or the full amount. Uh, you know how, and if you guys are familiar with actually have played Ark uh, or in many of the other survival games, if you go to uh, deconstruct something, it'll only give you half of the resources back. But this will give you everything back. I mean, I'll get my two uh, glass back. There is a large aquarium. This is only in the experimental build, I think. 
I don't know if they've actually added it to the main build yet. I can't build it because I don't have enough resources. But pretty much what you do is, it took me forever to figure this out, is you put a hatch in one of the glass so you can actually go through it and swim around your aquarium. You can put fish in there for them to reproduce and pretty much have an infinite supply of uh, food and, and, and air sacs, which means water. There are, there's a terraformer fragment that you can, uh, which I heard they're going to take it out, which I, I, I don't know what I think about that. Because what it pretty much did was you could take out part of the map and put it somewhere else and you could pretty much have your towers of sand and everything, which you could make tunnels and it was really quite neat. Uh, I've only made it once, but I really never did much with it, but I, I did use it. Should I make a road to take? I don't know. But I, I don't know what I think about that. I mean, I don't think they should get rid of it because they've already spent so much time trying to get it to work. I don't know why they would want to just scrap it unless they're going to do it another way, which, I mean, yeah, that's fine. But I don't think they should get rid of it completely because is all this terrain here is completely, uh, what do they call it? They, um, malleable. Uh, you can change it around. Dig deeper. You can, I mean, you could dig a whole hole straight down in the middle of the of the planet. I was going to say, oh, going to say Earth. Let's put some lockers in here uh, to store them some material. So, because you can die, uh, death in this game is if you die. If oh, what the heck? If you die. Okay, I, I don't know how I can explain this because this can be a little confusing. You know, me and me and I can't. You know, me and my explaining. I can't explain such stuff very well. Once you enter a building or your base, it'll save your inventory. So if when you walk out and you die, you will lose nothing. But if you if you go out, you pick up a, a quartz, or let's say you pick up some quartz to do some res, do some mining, or not mining, but pick up some resource collecting, or pick up resources, and you die, you lose what you've collected. But you still will save. What the heck, there's a fish in here. Ha! Huh. You. Yeah, I'll show you. Let me see. Oh, it also works when leaving. So when you enter, it'll save your inventory. And then when you exit, it'll save your inventory. So if I died right now, I would keep everything in my inventory. But if I collected that fish over there, I put, picked him up, and I died, I would lose that fish, and that fish only. Uh, which, no, one of the, that's one of the main reasons why I like, I, I played Minecraft, I liked it, uh, but I always died when I was mining, like, down below, and, and caves and everything, and I'd lose everything, and it would take me forever to get back down there, and then I, my stuff would be gone, and then it just happened over and over, and what the heck is this? You know, I'm just going to leave him, because why not? I'll just cook another one. I'm going to put my expensive stuff in here, my lithium. Yet, lith I don't it, Lithium is... That is found in the depths of the ocean. Uh, uh, I think 300 plus meters down. Uh, right now, I clearly can't go down there. I'll run out of oxygen. But with your little a sea glide, oh, no, a sea, oh yeah, a sea glide is a sea glide is pretty much a uh, shoot. I don't even know what they call them. It's got propeller. It's got a fin on it with a spinning fin, and you hold up. It's got handles, and it propels you through the water. Uh, I used to have when I was I used to have one when I was younger, but. I can't remember actually what they call it. Let's build a... We need a scanner, or maybe a knife. We just can't call a scanner. We need another battery. Which, that's copper and acid mushrooms. Which way is the ship? The ship's over there. So I don't want you to go that way. These things right here are called floaters. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why the rock's not floating, but if, if they're, they, you can see them attached to rocks, and they'll be floating, uh, float, pretty much floating rocks. Uh, 
I thought I saw something. Uh, there are very big, big uh, sea creatures. Some are good, some are bad. Uh, first time playing, you actually get scared for, for absolutely not, no reason at all. You just get scared just by a little uh, peeper. Like that, that noise right there, that's from a... Uh, that thing right there, it's got... I forget what they call them, but... Uh, if you get close to them, they're, they're, they're friendly, but... If you get close to them, those little balls fly out, and if you get near them, they'll explode, and, and then you'll die because you're getting the uh, fumes. Or whatever the heck they even want to call them. But I need copper. Copper, I keep getting off track. Now, the game is very dark, so if, if, if you guys aren't don't like being in the ocean, there's as I've seen, I've, I read the forums a lot, and uh, at least once a week you see somebody saying, oh my gosh, this game creeps me out, like, I can't play this for longer than 15 minutes. You see what I mean? It's 15 minutes without um, going crazy. I mean, I, I, I don't know what it... I don't know if the brightness is different for you guys, but I can barely see anywhere. Like I can see this floater or a hoverfish. Gold. Ah! This is why you need a knife. So you just hit them and they'll run away. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Now, what's nice about it is, is if you if if it. It will only notify you if you if you like the oxygen warning. Oh my gosh! If you only uh, if you if you it will give you enough time so you can surface so you won't die. So it will not tell you the thirty. If you're let's say twenty meters down, it won't give you the thirty seconds. It'll give you the ten seconds and five seconds, I think, because it's pointless. For thirty seconds, it's, you can obviously get back up in much time in the time. But uh, down here, it'll pretty much notify you. That you will have time. Ah, oh, I really picked a bad day to go to the. Is that it? No, that's not it. Oh, there's one. Those little shark things with the long nose. Those are called. Um... Shoot, I need to tip my tongue. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. They're called. I'll think about it here in a second. Jeez, I, I was just. Oh no, I, okay, that's good. They're called. Okay, I'll think about it in a, in a second. Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts now. That's completely gonna drive me bonkers. Alright, back to Copper Box. Now I'm gonna. <sighs> Discipline myself. To just pay attention. Let's see. Uh, this is the. So, uh, I don't exactly have radiation. Oh, oh. I don't get how animals can survive like sea creatures in the radiation. I, I still I don't understand how that's how that how that works, but I can't. Oh, I'm too deep. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Good grief! 3% health. Great. Fantastic. Uh, it will, your health will be, uh, if actually, if you have decent food and water, uh, you will start to regain health very slowly. It's a slow progress. We'll regain it slowly, slowly. Oh, there's some. Copper, yay. So now I can make the scanner. There is a, I think they call them oceanic vents. Oh, don't, don't, uh, don't, I'm not sure about that one. That was weird. 
turn this disappeared. Uh, you can die if you go down there, and then when it erupts or comes out, you you can die. But uh, oceanic fence. That's that's that sounds right. I think. Shoot, where's my? Oh, there it is. Uh, you can build beacons so you don't get lost, which I should do very shortly because I'm going to lose my base. I'm gonna forget where it is. Because that little, I built it sort of right under the, uh, uh, the, the escape pod. But that escape pod's glitchy and it likes to move, so it will, it'll move and I'll lose it. But. Okay. Now there are the a big. There's a big sea creature called the Re the Reaper. Wait, no, Reaper Leviathan. That doesn't sound right. Reaper. It's, I know it's called the Leviathan Reaper. I think it's called the Reaper Leviathan, yeah. It's very long. It's, it's about 60 feet or so long. You can hear it make noise, but when it grabs you, you will jump five feet. Uh, it, 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 up, it creeps up on you, grabs you, turns you around, just looks, makes, it, makes you look at him, and then shakes you to death and kills you. Oh, it will scare you to death. Uh, at least the first time. And maybe the second. Wait, do I need a battery? Yeah, I need a battery. Now, stuff gets auto put in your hot bar. I don't like it. But, but yeah, uh, yeah. It's been going on for this episode's been going on for a while, so I think I'm gonna cut it here. Pick up later. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.